Alzheimer's is a terrible disease. Anyone who has had a relative with the illness knows that it is a disease that robs the affected person of the very qualities that makes that person a unique human individual. I, I think that people who have the symptoms of the disease already, not already, have severe alterations in the default mode network. But it's more important to identify it in the pre-symptomatic stage as an indicator of who is at high risk of becoming demented. So the default network, default mode network, is, I think, a way for us to understand the sequence of the changes in the brain that result in Alzheimer's disease. I just mentioned that some of the very human qualities that we have are those that are first to erode, to be lost in Alzheimer's disease. Well, what brain regions are responsible for those qualities? And the default mode network gives us some insight as to which regions of the brain are most vulnerable to the Alzheimer process. We know as the disease progresses that virtually the entire brain will be involved. But if we're interested in trying to understand the actual onset of the disease so that we can better develop treatments, we want to know which regions deteriorate first. And the recent work with the default mode network gives us some insight into that. I can't say that understanding the default mode network directly will tell us about new therapies or new strategies to treat Alzheimer's disease. Indirectly, it could, because, again, if we're understanding which brain regions are most affected early on in the Alzheimer process, and the default mode network can help us identify those regions and understand their connections, then I think we can look at those regions to understand the mechanisms of the Alzheimer process, and that might lead then to therapeutic strategies. But I, I don't see how the default mode network in and of itself will lead to therapeutic strategies. So every bit of information helps, but I, I don't think it's reasonable to indicate to people that we suddenly can do a study in mouse models of Alzheimer's in humans and connectivity studies with default mode network and suddenly find the cause and the cure for Alzheimer's. I think it's going to be several years, maybe decades, of continual scientific research before we have all the answers.